Hey guys, Linkoid here, and I just wanted to show you a cool little tutorial for uh, like an encampment. So this is like a couple of tents and then a fire in the middle and you can imagine it's sort of on the front lines of like a battlefield or something. So um, yeah, I built this and I, I thought it looks really cool. I've done two of these tents. Basically these are like the standard little tents and you can fit inside here and you know, you could probably put a bed down or something like that. Um, and basically the way I built these is they're one, two, three, four, five, six across. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're basically six by six. And the way I built them is I put one single block of red sandstone and then stairs and then another single block and then one stair and then another single block. The reason I use these blocks is because I can put the tripwire hooks on the edge and they look like sort of tent pegs. So I thought they looked really cool. I, th I thought that was worthwhile. Kind of you don't really notice much that the notch isn't out of there and actually it adds a nice little bit of detail here as well. So I added those blocks on so that I could add them in because I think the tent pegs look really cool. And then the other thing I did was I recessed the normal sandstone back one so that it looks like kind of like a tent flap, especially with the banner, so that you kind of go into the tent. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I just put brown carpet down for the time being just to make it look a bit more like you've got like a ground sheet or like some furs on the floor or something like that. Um, so yeah, I really like these little tents. Oh, and then I put some dark oak posts going up just as though they look like the kind of tent posts holding it up. And then I just put some more recessed stuff in here. So I put upside down stairs and then normal stairs just so just to add some sort of detail to the back of the tent. So those are the little tents and they turned out pretty cool. And then I did the kind of bigger sort of tent, maybe with some like armor in and stuff like that. The way I built these is basically basically three blocks, one single block on the corner. There you go, one, two, three, a single block on the corner and then one, two, three again. And that creates a sort of circle you can see from above, which is quite nice for these little tent sort of sizes. And then I went three high, and then after going three high, you can see one, two, three, I went round with these stairs. So effectively, I did an upside down stair straight here, three along, and then straight back in here. And then once I got to the sides, I went basically the same. So these two upside down stairs are always facing each other. Like the top bits are always connected. And then for the top, I just made a little dome for the top. So I did three stairs along at, all the way around the outside. And then right at the end, I just did on the sides, I just did an extra stair facing straight across to the other side. So I did the same here and the same here. And then I just put some little slabs on the top just to finish off the dome. And then a cool thing is I got this oak kind of fence that goes all the way down through the bottom of it. So when you come on the inside, you can see the like pole that goes all the way up. I think that's really cool. I think that turned out quite nice. And then I just, again, mixed in some red sandstone so that it had a bit of different color to it. So it looks like canvas. And then this is sort of like dyed canvas or like, you know, hide or something like that. So yeah, I really like that. I think it turned out pretty cool. I used the tripwire hook again so that you can see the little pegs and then just added some banners to the sides. And then just to finish it off, I basically mixed in some podzol, some oak, uh, some stripped, I think that's spruce, um, some pathways, uh, gravel, coarse dirt, and then I came in with a bit of bone mill just to add in some grass and a few flowers. Um, Oh, and then right in the middle, I added this campfire. So this campfire I really like because it look because I've 
kind of hidden basically what I've done is I've put a campfire in the middle and then I've made a cross of campfires as well so underneath you've got these sort of campfires that come straight off of this main one but they're hidden underneath other objects so it just makes it look like the kind of random pieces of wood and fence and like spruce uh, trap doors and whatever kind of wood you've shoved on there it looks like it's currently burning which I really like um, and then you just put a campfire on the top so you actually get the fire as well so yeah I think that looks really cool I really like the way that came out oh and then I just uh, recessed these in with a bit with a andesite slab so, so it looks like kind of ash maybe or some gravel that's been burnt I just use andesite so that it actually looks like a pit that they're burning stuff in. Um, yeah, I really like that. I've, I think it I, looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look. I sort of tested just adding some different pieces and I think just kind of being a bit random with what wood you place in actually works quite well. So you can see there's like some spruce trapdoors and fences and logs and whatever and you just sort of so, sort of shove it in there and it just looks like a nice little nice little fire. And then the final thing I did is I just I got some horses and leashed, leashed them up to these pen posts so that it looks like you know they're ready to ride off into battle. I put some different armor on those too as well. So yeah, let me know what you think of these encampments and if you're playing any kind of maps or anything that have um, tents or anything like that in, I'd love to I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.